good afternoon good evening good morning from wherever you're hearing me from this is to do a quick video on okx how to connect my tafa api to okx i want to use okx exchange to trade this is how okx looks like so you come to your home page first and um, see how you can create um your okx so the first thing you have to do is know where to connect from tafa so you come to your menu bar click the menu bar and then come here so first that's the first option you see connect an exchange so you click connect an exchange if either you're going through sports or you're going through futures most times futures gives us bulk of the profit sports is going to be maybe you want to keep it for the long term so you can connect to any of sports we have many other three okay x is part of it for sports binance us bitrex coinbase pro bybit hobby and then okay so i have just binance KuCoin, and max connected for sport uh -huh. so the next thing is to click futures exchange which is our primary focus for this video so you click futures exchange we have five connected exchanges and um, that's the maximum we have a hobby bybit okx coin and binance so what do we do you click okx since our focus is on okx you click okx and um don't get carried away by all of these figures because they are going to be what you are going to be creating in your okx so your api key and secret key and passphrase are very important for you in okx to connect so these are the three items we're going to be connecting we're going to be your secret key first you see it's asterisk because immediately you copy it it disappears your passphrase to is asterisk is what you created by yourself so we're going to show how to do all of that but before then there's something we must do first copy your ip whitelist so you click your ip whitelist and then you copy this very important because without this code you cannot create your api in okx so take note of number one we are enabling reading we're enabling futures and then we're going to put this ip whitelist on the restricted area all right so we're good so let's copy our ip whitelist so once you copy this we now come straight to okx this is my okx wallet and then um, what we need to do now is come to this four box the menu bar here and then you're in your app so you scroll down and you see api it's here api so once you click your api you now come your api key what do you do you create you click create api key once you click create the api key you can write it tougher bot test because it's going to be a test create your passphrase make sure it's eight character words one lower case and all of that so you create your pass passphrase could be your password but make sure it's something you never forget then you okay let's have something let's have something but i'm not going to create okay so we now have this now once you paste this you notice here that it shows incorrect ip address the reason is because we don't want gaps in between the ip address it has to make sure that it is covered with commas so we have comma here comma here we have a comma here we have a comma here we have one here you know so we're going to do that together um just to identify so one two three four five six seven i think so seven i believe so so all right so let's check it out once we click here we come here we take this comma here we come here you take this comma here you come here you take this comma here you close this gap you close this gap and then you come here we take this gap so we come to six we also cover it we cover the gap 
make sure there is no space okay it's good so we have one space here we need to cover this too and then here we cover this so you see immediately the ip invalid statement is clear so what do we do next you see here is already highlighted read we have to also highlight trade so you click trade and then you confirm once you put your verification code and all of that your ip whitelist will come out your api key will come out your secret key will come out i don't want to complete this but that is it immediately after your authentication code and all of that your next thing you are seeing is your api key and your secret key so you input your api key here input your secret key you input your api key here then your secret key is here it's a long digit make sure you copy it and keep it in the notepad because once you miss it it's going to come like this and you can't take it again then your passphrase is that password which you had created and you just put it here and then before now you will see an arrow button that looks like this green button so you just click it or blue or green click it and you're good so that's just a brief on how to set your api just in case you need some help just um check the description you see my telegram link and my contact you can always reach out to me for further guidance thank you